All right, let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna split our database here and we're gonna allow multiple people to enter data at the same time. And so by doing that, we're creating something called a front end database and there's gonna be multiple front end databases and that allows people, regardless of where they are, what system they're on, they can enter data at the same time and it's all gonna get funneled into a back end database, which is like the true new source of where your data is gonna be stored. So think of it as like multiple pipes going into one central uh, place. So we need our uh, table here. We have a table here. We have a form. You don't have to have the form or queries, but it just helps and uh, save you time later. But you do have to have the table ready that you're ready to uh, split. So when you're ready to split or create a front end and back end, go to database tools, access database, split database, and you want to put the uh, location of the back end. And so the back end is going to have that BE by default when you split it. And this right here, which is the original file you had, that is going to become your front end. So go ahead and hit split when you're ready. And it should work. And you'll notice here now there is an arrow. And that means it's now uh, linked to the back end. So this becomes the front end and it's linked to that other back end. And so now if you want to change uh, what's in the field here or in the table, if you try to do that, it won't work. It won't let you because now this is linked. So we have to go to the back end database to do that. So let's say we wanted to add a new field. So let's open the back end file, All right? So you'll notice there's nothing, there's no forms or anything here. This is just data. This is the source. So we'll go, we'll add something like uh, favorite team. Okay, we'll save that. All right, we're gonna close this. Now this, not to be confused, this is our uh, front end database. And maybe to not get confused, we can just call it front end. All right. So now we have a form, we can enter information and uh, I don't know, we'll put something like this. Okay, bam, it's saved. It all gets funneled into there. Now, what if you have uh, two people that have different preferences, for example? So what you do is uh, when you wanna make another front end for another person, you could just copy the original front end, just paste it, make it distinct, so we'll call person two's front end. All right. So maybe this person likes uh, a different background color. Who knows? So they want, uh, I don't know, green. <laughs> okay, so you save that. And well, I don't know, we'll go to the, the second person here. We'll put in their annual review date. Okay, great, we'll close it. Now let's open that other front end. Okay, so this is what we entered the first time from the first front end database. And this is what we just entered a second ago. So for the other person, this was all green. So uh, you can kind of tweak different front end databases for different users. Some people might like certain reports. Um, and on that note, if you make new queries of reports, you're gonna need to um, make uh, new copies of the front end. So let's say in this file right here, we created like five new reports and queries. We're gonna wanna delete this old one here. And then once uh, you've built everything here, you just make another copy of it and then everybody will have those same reports. So you can really just as many as you want. You got, you know, three other people that need to do it, fine, you know, you can change all that. Um, but that way, uh, your data doesn't get corrupted when multiple people are in the same access file because uh, these are just different pipes, essentially, to all get into here. So that's generally how it works. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching the video. Please consider subscribing and supporting the channel. 
so I can do more of these in the future. Appreciate it. Thank you.